Welcome back to the Marine Science Station's Creature Feature. We're going to switch it up a little bit this week and show you some video of uh, some of our feeding that we do to take care of our critters here. So um, what you'll notice here right off is that we have several freshwater animals here. These are a lot of Florida natives uh, to central Florida. Um, we have several species of turtles, largemouth bass, bluegills, and uh, Florida gar. Uh, along with some other critters in here as well. You'll notice that they are getting some shrimp to eat. Shrimp are uh, native to this area. A lot of things live off of shrimp. Try to feed them as natural as, as possible. Um, so taking a look at some of our species, right there, that turtle, that is a peninsula cooter. Underneath that log there, you'll see a brown bullhead. And this guy is a yellow belly slider another type of turtle. You'll see these striped fish going all over the place. Those are bluegill. And in the background there is the largemouth bass and the brown bullhead that just swam past him. So bluegills are an interesting, uh, very common fish. A lot of people uh, catch them when they're out doing recreational fishing. They actually show uh, what's called sexual dimorphism, which means that the males and the females look different from each other. So the males have a white patch on top of their head, especially during breeding season. It's very prominent, and the females lack that. So that's one easy way to tell the males from the females. That's our turtles again. Peninsula cooter, and then here comes the yellow belly slider for more shrimp. They're very hungry animals. They really, really like to eat. Now you'll notice something about the feeding strategy of all these animals. They pretty much just rush up and grab the food. But the Florida gar is a little bit different. See how it kind of came up and, and snapped sideways to grab his food? I want you to watch for that next time he comes around to grab some food as well. So we do try to mix up their diet a little bit. You know, if you saw the little pinfish that we dropped in there with them. And here comes that gar. Bam, see, right next to him. That is a feeding strategy that uh, animals with long mouths will uh, very often use. Oh, this is an invasive species. That's a brown haplo. I don't know if you noticed the heavy scaling that he has on his side. It's a type of catfish, but they're not native to Florida. They were brought in by the aquarium trade, and uh, they're great little aquarium fish, but they don't stay little for very long. When they grow too big, people think they're being nice, and they release them into the environment, and uh, it actually creates a problem because now you have a competitor that doesn't really belong competing with our native uh, catfish for food and, and other resources. Another great grab by the uh, Florida Gar there. And Haplo looking for leftovers. And there's that little brown bullhead. Well, we hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe uh, to get notifications for more of our videos coming up. And uh, have a safe and wonderful day.